Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Shanice and if you are new, then go ahead and make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the bell for notifications. And to my returning subscribers, hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's a month of July, the month of joy! I feel like everyone knew it was coming. We knew what this month was. However, it was still nice to hear our man of God pronounce it. And I know everyone is excited about love feasts. Um, <laughs> we're fasting, so, you know, I mean, I think we are able to break whenever we come to church for Sunday services, but it's still, you know, it's still, it's still something great, it's still something to enjoy. Um, I think I feel bad <laughs> though sometimes because I'm always thinking about the cleanup after Love Feast. I hope that in your various churches that you help clean up after the Love Feast. So I'm just going to dive right into like some key points that I took away from service today. By the way, can I just say that I just love that we got to worship with the song No End. Um, led by Ellie J. Um, I just love that song and I've been, you know, I've been using it to worship um, a lot lately. So I was really excited about that. Um, but I really liked when Pastor was talking about, you know, the business of law and just understanding the law in wherever you are, you know, making sure that you know, you know, the resources that you have on hand um, whenever you're, you know, you're being pushed to the wall, so to speak, and being forced to do certain things that are not in line with the gospel. I really loved that he talked about just being more knowledgeable, being able to know um, your rights as a citizen of whatever locality that you're in. And, you know, something that Pastor said that stuck out to me about this month of joy besides love feasts is that, you know, this is a month to have songs of praise to God, you know, um, prayers, exhortations and testimonies. And obviously, of course, the food and drinks that are prepared by you um, for your congregation. But, you know, praise to God, prayers, exhortations and testimonies. You remember last month was the month of prayer and praise. And so you can see that that's continuing and we had our month of victory. So we're seeing, we, we now need to do testimonies, right? So I'm just excited. I just felt like when I heard that my spirit was so stirred and I really loved that pastor took the time to just break down some misconceptions around the communion. Um, I've heard a lot of controversial opinions um, concerning the communion and I, I always just wonder like are these people even <laughs> Christian <laughs> um, you know because to me I feel like the Bible is plain um, I don't think the Bible has changed right so we can all go to the same text and see the same thing but you know I think a lot of time people just like to argue um, and I, I told my friends, I was like, I'm adopting, you know, past this phrase, get wise. Whenever someone, you know, <laughs> whenever someone is um, starting to, you know, go off and mount off, show them the word of God. That's the wisdom that they need. Get wise. That's what I'll say. After I drop whatever scripture that I'm using to show them, you know, the truth, I'll be like, get wise <laughs> it may not be the best thing to do but i really liked when pastor said it i want to incorporate it somehow if you have tips and tricks for me let me know in the comment section on how i can say it without sounding too you know sassy um but i really love that pastor ended with you know a triumphant note you know we have triumphed gloriously because that's really that's really what we've done that's really what we've done and I'm really excited. I mean, can you imagine the first half of 2023 is over? Did you pro proliferate? Like, did, were you prolific? Was it prolific for you, right? Um, I hope it has been. And I hope that the second half of the year is even more prolific for you. Um, and your church and your family, everything about you is, um, in, in a good way is prolific. And um, 
can't wait to see and you know hear from a man of God concerning the later half of the year so um, thank you all for sticking with me can you imagine I've been doing this for a full six months like committed doing this I'm patting myself on the back <laughs> Um, but let me know if you had any takeaways from our communion service today and if you have any um, anything that you want to see me talk about or any messages on the Pastor Chris Digital Library that you want to hear me talk about. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much. Happy month of July. Happy month of joy. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.